Good morning, everyone, or rather, good day, uh, para big back. Good day, everyone. So this is your instructor, Nariela Linog Bisarial. So we will have a recorded lecture since hindi tayo magtugma sa schedule. So at least I am doing my part, uh, and you'll do your part in listening and reviewing this uh, recorded lecture. So, back to start tayo hanggang sa matapos ko lahat ng topics natin. So, again, uh, welcome to our uh, Engineering Management uh, Lecture 1. So, your, our agenda for this um, uh, lecture is it define natin what is engineering, what is, uh, what is management, and then functions of an engineer and and lastly is yung managerial skills okay without any further ado we have our introduction so here we have a quote kumbaga ang ating opening remarks so the first rule of management is delegation so don't try to do everything because hindi natin kaya yun mag-isa. So, kaya ganun, meron tayong a manager. He is the, um, yung role niya, kumbaga, is he will delegate the, uh, the, the, ano ba ito man? He will delegate uh, the task to specific or yung mga tamang tao na mag solve no uh, problem or yung uh, who have the technical skill for that specific job. Okay. So, next slide tayo. So, here, we will define what is engineering. So, engineering is a profession in which a knowledge of the mathematical skill and natural science gained by study, syempre, in our undergrad, uh, undergrad study. And then experience and practice is applied with judgment. Develop ways to utilize economically, uh, utilize economically the materials and forces of nature for the benefit of mankind. So, yung engineering nga is mostly naman talaga is mathematical yung ating uh, basic technical skills. And then partnered with natural science. And then throughout, uh, during our undergrad study, kumbaga sa college days natin, we will have to, to develop our technical skills, technical, uh, kumbaga ang ginamin dito, um, develop mo yung mga uh, thinking skills mo with the study, or with your different subjects, and then magigain ka. Hindi naman lahat mariretain, pero at least when you uh, review or balikan mo yung mga subjects na yun, you will be uh, easily uh, magbalik lang baga. Kumbaga. Then, uh, balikan lang kumbaga. Recap lang. So, uh, through experience, magiging ka na experience and then uh, we will uh, and then i-apply natin. You will practice. Okay. And then through that experience and practice, yung judgment mo madidevelop din. So, judgment mo kung baga, uh, example na lang, kung uh, bubuhos ba tayo ngayon, ang, ang condition is umuulan ng malakas. Kung umuulan ng malakas, may mga conditions din. Kung umuulan talaga ng malakas, malakas ang hangin, so hindi pwede magbubuhos. Pero kung taligsik lang, okay lang. So, manage, manage, manageable lang yung ulan. So, may mga judgment na through uh, experience and practice is develop much develop And then, develop din yung uh, ways mo to utilize yung mga materials, mga hindi lang materials, mga conditions, situations. So, you, you will learn how to uh, uh, gamitin yung mga ganun na skills. And then, economically, syempre, uh, sa engineering, meron tayong value engineering. So, hindi pwede na uh, porket gusto natin 
aesthetic kumbaga. So gagamitin na lahat lahat ng uh, mamahalin or mga gandang gamit. So sabi nga nila hindi pwede lahat ng uh, aesthetic sa kumbaga lahat ng design or ano ba ito man style is i-input mo sa isang isang project or sa isang plan. Kasi pangit siya kung wala din siyang uh, combinations, kung baga may tawag dyan. Okay lang, balikan ko kayo dyan. Kasi dapat merong laro din sa design. Uh, yung ilaw, anong ilaw na gagamitin, anong klaseng pin light ba yan, recess light ba yan, anong klaseng colors ang gagamitin sa pintura, and etc. So, hindi pwede na uh, sa, kung baga sa isang uh, concept Actual skill or advanced thinking na isang engineer. Okay. Dapat economically din yung kanyang design. And then the materials and forces of nature for the benefit of the mankind. Okay. Next is we will define what is engineer. So, ang engineer is a person applying his mathematical and science, na, science knowledge properly for mankind. Okay. Alam natin yan. Who is an engineer. So, hindi lang dito ginapag-usapan yung civil engineer how. There's so much uh, field sa engineering. So, hindi lang CE. We have ME, we have electrical engineer, and so on. So, what, ano din ba ang engineering? Ang engineering is a discipline, not an art. Okay? So, Kumbaga, baka iniisip ng iba dahil lang design-design, aesthetic, art na agad yung engineering. Kumbaga, yung engineering, mas deeper niya pa. We have the technical skills, for interpersonal skills, and etc. So, yung technical dito is yung learning natin. Learning natin with our undergrad, uh, kung, uh, kumbaga, college days. Okay, next we have what uh, wa, uh, define natin ano ang management. So, a, man a management is a set of activities including planning, decision making, organizing, leading, and control. So, directed at an organizational resources such as yung ating human resources, financial, physical, and informational resources with the aim of achieving organizational goals in an efficient and effective manner. So, sa management din, kumbaga, meron tayo dito mission and vision. So, more mostly, uh, kung ano yung input doon sa mission and vision, kasi mag-vary yan in every organization. Depende din, mag-depende uh, mag din yan sa uh, personality ng ating uh, may-ari. Okay? So that is uh, that is kung baga nasa mission and vision. So anong vision ng company and and, and ano yung mission niya. Okay. So ang vision niya yung kung baga yung uh, long term a long term goal. Okay? So anong iniisip niya? So syempre ang lahat ng organization is nagsa start from the bottom. So anong vision niya? Gusto yung lumaki yung company niya. Gusto niya mag-spread out marami siyang uh, branches, and, and so on. And then yung mission is, kumbaga, anong gusto niyang magawa para sa society? Siyempre, sa engineering tayo, kumbaga yung construction natin, uh, hindi lang sa kumbaga maganda, quality din kumbaga. Kasi sa, uh, sa ating uh, mga ginabuild, hindi lang pang, pang akit sa mata. Dapat safe din siya na gamitin. Okay. Okay. We have here another definition. So, um, kumbaga, uh, dictionary definition. So, engineering management, uh, directing supervision of engineers or engineering functions. Okay. So, engineering management example is we have a construction company. So, sa construction construction company mostly uh, it is composed of civil engineers pero hindi lang civil engineers ang meron diyan 
syempre sa uh, sa isang uh, construction we have electrical we have the plumbing we have the ano pa ba yung sa ECE kumbaga yung mga computers natin yung mga cables so we have uh, different different professions in a organization so dapat uh, yung ating manager is hindi lang siya man uh, hindi lang siya knowledgeable sa engineering aspect. So, lahat yan, alam niya. Okay. So, kaya niya uh, i-magbigay, mag-delegate ng function or yung task doon sa alam niyang uh, tamang tao. Okay. So, alam niya, uh, kumbaga, hindi niya ibibigay yung electrical plan doon sa CE. Okay. Pagtatawanan lang siya. Okay. Ganon. So, Another definition here, uh, engineer possessing both abilities to apply engineering principles and skills in organizing and directing people and projects. Okay, so next slide tayo. Again, another definition, oh, direct supervision of engineers and or the engineering function. Okay, only now. And the next one is application of quantitative methods and engineering techniques to the practice of management. Okay, hindi kasi example lang ha. Meron tayong newly hired engineer. Hindi agad-agad yan siya skilled. Kung baga, mar marami siyang mga, mga, kung baga, dapat sa site na hindi niya alam. So, sino bang magtuturo sa kanya? Kung wala siyang project, uh, kung wala siyang Ahead. sa uh, sa site masisira talaga mahihirapan siya mahihirapan yung newly hired engineer sa pag uh, sa function niya so we have a project engineer so next niyan is proj uh, uh, project manager okay kung wala siyang project engineer yung project manager ang mag-explain -e Sige, may explain lang. Hindi naman kasi yan. Pwedeng natutukan niya. Kasi busy naman yung si, uh, manager natin. Pero at least alam niya. Pwede siya mag, uh, maka... Uh, pwede niya ma-direct into proper at saka mas, uh, mas uh, efficient way. Okay, what engineering managers do? Okay, management of technical functions. So, itong technical functions more on yung skills mo na develop during your college days. Yung uh, math skills mo, yung uh, computer skills mo, such, such as using the CAD, AutoCAD, and then yung others pa. Kung baga, mag -Midas. That is a technical skill. So, that will be your technical functions. Management, again, uh, what manager engineering managers do management of or other functions in a high technology enterprise. Okay, next. So next is functions ng functions of engineering. So, syempre, ang ating subject is engineering management. So, marami din um, branch ang management. Uh, so, mag-focus tayo sa engineering. Specifically, the functions of engineering are encompasses the following areas. So, first, we have the research where the engineer is engaged in the process of learning about nature and codifying this knowledge into uh, usable theories. So, uh, wait lang ha. Hindi na kung So, sa magre-research, before tayo gagawa ng plan or design, we will have to research with, uh, kung bag example lang, research natin kung yung environment is suitable para dun sa ating design. So, example lang, extreme example lang, gusto ni client na yung kanyang, uh, kanyang uh, ipapatay yung building or residential is cliff side. So, magre-research si engineer kung okay lang ba yung soil bearing capacity, yung wind 
uh, wind gust doon. Malakas ba or mahina? So, pag makuha niya yung mga ini, uh, preliminary data, pwede, uh, pwede na siya maka-start doon sa preliminary uh, preliminary uh, designs such as seismic analysis, doon man talaga magsa-start lahat, wind analysis, and etc. So, next is design and development. So after the research, we will have the design and development. It is where the engineer undertakes the activity of turning a project, a project, uh, no, product concept, kung sa construction, uh, project concept, to a finished physical items. Design for manufacturability and value engineering teams, a feature of some companies. So itong value engineering nagiging Uh, nagiging trending na ito siya. Pero, uh, dito sa Jensen or Mindanao, hindi ko makita. Pero dito sa uh, urbanized area, yes, nagka-trend na ito, value engineering. So, what is value in engineering? Ito yung, it, ito sila, kung baga we have a project na ginawa. So, meron ng, meron ng, uh, kung baga estimate or yung, uh, project cost. Okay, project cost. So, i-value engineering natin siya. So, i-kumbaga, i-review yung plans. So, from 25 mm yung bakal, i-check yan ni value engineering kung pwede ba siya i-reduce pa into 20 mm. So, pag i-reduce siya sa 20 mm, may, we may reduce also the cost, the project cost. So more on um, bababaan ni value engineering yung cost ng project without compromising the quality or yung strength ng ating structure. Okay? Okay. Design of for manufacturability and value engineering teams are charged with improvement of the science and specification at the research part pa. Uh, development na, design and production stages of product or project development. Next is testing. It is where the engineer works in a unit where new products of, or parts are being tested for, for workability. So itong testing na ito, mahulog ito siya kung sa construction, we have the material, in, material engineer. So sila yung nagte-test ng quality ng bawat uh, construction material natin such as uh, quality test ng cement, uh, aggregates and etc yung mga bakal uh, and so on. Okay, we have here another manufacturing. It is where the engineer is directly in charge of production personnel or assumes responsibility for the product. So, yung manufacturer nga, kumbaga, ano bang mga uh, engineers natin dito, iba ito sa CEA. So, more on uh, mechanical engineers. The next is construction. Here, we have the CE. This is where the construction engineer, especially civil engineers, is directly in charge of the construction personnel, yung mga uh, skill laborers and skilled laborers natin or may have responsibility for the quality of the construction process. And then we also have engineering sales. So meron tayong manufacturing. So meron na tayong product. So meron ding mga engineer na bihasa. More on magaling silang magbenta ng product. So it is where the engineer assists the company's customers to meet their needs, especially those that require technical expertise. Next is consulting. It is where the engineer works as consultant of any individual or organization requiring his services. Dito sa consulting, it is a experience, experience engineer na ito. Uh, kumbaga with, uh, with years of experience na. You cannot consult You cannot give advices kung wala kang idea sa problem na 
ipa-face sa'yo. So, more on itong consulting engineers na sa mga prime age na ito. Kung baga 45 up. More on 60s nga ito sila kasi wisdom na lang yung binibenta nila. So, with years of practice, alam na nila bawat prod, uh, problem which arises sa construction. So, uh, makaka-advise na sila ano yung proper, mas, much efficient way on dealing that project without uh, without cost so much. Next is government. Uh, again, meron tayong mga engineers sa government. So, sa atin mga engineers such as CE, we have the DP, DPWH. So, where the engineers may find employment in the government performing any of the various tasks in regulating and then monitoring and controlling the activities of various institutions, public, man, or private. So, sa government engineers natin, much more implementation and monitoring yung nagiging trabaho. So, uh, designing, syempre, designing uh, the plan. And then after designing, syempre, si contractor ang gagawa. So, dun na siya sa implementation. So, check ni government engineer kung uh, sinusunod ba ni contractor engineers yung plans, na uh, yung kumbaga yung approved plans and specifications. And then, here we are, yung teaching as we, yung ating faculty members. It is where the engineers gets employment in a school and is assigned as a teacher of engineering courses. Some of them become deans, vice presidents, and presidents. Okay, next is in management, where the engineer is assigned to ma manage, sorry ha, manage groups of people performing specific tasks. Okay, nasabi ka naman ito kanina. Okay, next tayo. So next is kanina, functions of engineering. Ngayon is yung function ni engineer. So balik lang tayo. So functions of engineering, we have 10. Next is we have 8 functions of the engineer. So first, the production of, of more food for a fast-growing world population. Elimination of air and water pollution. Uh, Kung baga itong sa first is yung manufacturer engineer. Next is sanitary engineer or environmental engineer. Okay, we will assist the in environment here. The elimination of air and water pollution. So yung engineering, environmental engineering such as nandito na yung sanitary engineers is mas uh, nagiging trending na din ito siya. Well, there's a global warming. So, mostly sa global warming is due to the expanding of the professions of engineers. So, hindi lang sa construction, sa mga factories. So, sa mga factories, we have the mechanical engineers. So, pag expand ng profession ng engineering, or engineers, or engineering profession, is nag-contribute tayo sa global warming. So since mostly sa global warming is due to our profession, so dapat we can manage also the uh, the risk of this profession. So again, solid waste disposal and materials cycling. Okay, environmental engineering, engineering din yan. Engineers. Uh, reduction of noise and various force, supplying the increasing demand of in energy. So, na yun sa mga, ano, so, 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 supplying the increasing demand of mod mobility. We have trains, cars, etc. So, manufacture of power of, uh, uh, wait lang, manufacture of vehicles na ito. So, we have the mechanical engineer. Preventing and solving crimes. Okay. Here, meron din tayong engineers sa field of uh, military or doon sa PNP, mga police natin. So, kung uh, pwede kayo mag-branch out pag-graduate nyo sa uh, civil engineer uh, and then uh, mag-take na kayo ng board exam, license engineer na kayo, you can 
apply sa PNPA, PNA, oh, PMA. Okay. So, malaki na ang ganang rank ko dyan. Pero meron pa rin kayong uh, training na gagawin. So, hindi ko masyado, hindi ako masyadong verse dyan. Pero, meron yan. Meron niyang a dentist uh, army, civil army, a civil engineering army, or etc. And then last, meeting the increasing demand for communication facilities. So, ECE. Okay, so next, we have here the uh, engineer in various types of organization. So from the viewpoint of the engineer, organizations may be classified according to the degree of engineering jobs performed. So we have three levels. So level one, those with minimal engineering jobs like retailing firms. Okay, nandito ning uh, mga sales, sales engineering na ito siya. Nandito siya. Next is uh, those uh, level two, those with moderate degree of engineering jobs like transportation companies. Next, last, yung level three, those with high degree of engineering jobs like construction firms. Kasi lahat na dyan talaga. Uh, engineering terms, engineering aspect, engineering applications na. Okay. So, we have here yung graph natin. Level 1, level 2, level 3, specialized, uh, general management required, and kumbaga, general ito ha, and then level ito. So, specialized and general management required. So, habang pataas, yung yung degree uh, yung level natin mas tumataas yung kanyang management requirement. Okay, next. Sa engineering management, yung managers natin, he needs or he she needs four types of skills. First, she is, no, she he or yung manager is well versed sa technical. So, sub uh, specific subject related to or to skills such as engineering, accounting, and etc. So, si manager hindi lang siya well-versed sa engineering uh, aspect. So, dapat magaling din siya sa accounting. Kasi si manager is, um, marami siyang, again, marami siyang field na ibabantayan or i-manage or supervise. Hindi lang civil, or yung mga engineers, hindi lang engineers. So, he will supervise the liaison in the company, the HR, the DIG accounting, and the administrative jobs. And then, even those yung sa pinakababa na yung ating mga minsan uh, makaka-input pa si manager doon sa manpower uh, problems. So, well-versed dapat siya sa technical. Kumbaga, sa engineering aspect, uh, accounting aspect, uh, law. Uh, kumbaga, yung mga, alam niya yung mga law ng, hindi lang engineering law. Kumbaga, sa accounting law din. So, medyo mabigat talaga itong uh, role ni manager. Pero kung sa compensation naman, mas mataas din ang kanyang sahod three to four times sa uh, baga site engineer. Next in skill, next skill in manager is interpersonal skill. So, the, yung skill na ito is related to dealing with others and leading, motivating and controlling them. So, magaling si a manager uh, sa talking aspect. Magaling siya makipag-usap Makiling siya makipag, makisalamuha. So, hindi lang si manager magaling magsalita. Dapat magaling din siyang makisalamuha. So, uh, hindi, kumbaga, yung hindi, uh, kumbaga, pabalik-balik ako ha, sorry. So, dapat, uh, uh, mabigat yung word ni manager. Kumbaga, dapat may tone ba na susu ma mapapasunod niya yung 
mga tao niya kumbaga. Pero hindi naman din in a bossy in a bossy way. So dapat as a leader, you know how to uh, deal uh, properly sa tao mo in a nice way. Okay. Next is conceptual. This is the ability to discern the critical factors that will determine as organization success or failure. Kumbaga, ability to see forest in spite of trees. Kumbaga, yung ano ba, uh, napo-foresee niya na. So, wala pa natukod ang project. Foresee niya na ang, ang fully processed, yung fully uh, constructed na yung 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 project, yung mga arise na mga problem is na foresee niya na so nag overtake na dito na part C manager. Overtake niya lahat yung mga possible ways na darating, possible na mga problems, ma-delay ba yung materials, um uh, may problema ba sa mga agency, sa kumbaga sa water, sa electricity and etc. So overthinking skill na ito, conceptual sa mind. Mind skill na ito. Then last is yung design skill. The ability to solve problems in ways that benefit the enterprise. Okay, next. So, we expand further natin yung four types of skills ni manager. So, technical skill, knowledge of the proficiency in activities involving methods, processes, and pro uh, procedures. So, here nga, Itong mga types na ito is napag-aralan na sa undergrad, uh, undergrad uh, schooling or college days. So yung mga methods, uh, uh, napag-aralan na, yung processes and procedures. Okay, next is involves working with tools and specific techniques. For example, mechanics works with tools and their supervisor uh, should have the ability to teach them how to use these tools. Okay, that is the technical skill. Next is your interpersonal or human skill. So the ability to work with people, it is cooperative effort. Yes, yung ating uh, work is in any organization, it is teamwork, lahat yan. Hindi, hindi lalago si, si company or organization kung isa lang ang nan ang ang nagtatrabaho walang ganun mga tindahan lang okay lang pero wala kailangan ni nagabantay sa tindahan kailangan niyang mag grocery so kung naubusan na yung kanitong stock mag grocery go grocery siya kung siya lang isa magsasarado siya kung mag grocery siya so mahirap kung one uh, kumbaga there's no man in an i in an island kumbaga hindi niya kaya hindi makaya so it is the creation of an environment in which people feel secure and free to express their opinion. Okay, so hindi toxic. Wag na mag magi toxic si manager kasi uh, pag uh, hindi magiging uh, proficient or magiging productive productive yung ating tao kung, kung hindi sila masaya sa work nila. So, yung conceptual skill naman, the ability to see the bigger picture. Okay. Overthink or see, wala pa nangyari yung, hindi pa, kumbaga hindi pa nanahalo sa bid, na for foresee niya na yung completion ng project. And then, to understand the relationship among the elements. So, yun nga. Isip, isip, isip conceptual skill. Next, design skill is, is the ability to solve problems in ways that will benefit the enterprise to be effective, to be effective, particularly at upper organizational levels. Managers must be able to do more than see a problem. They, okay, nakakita niya yung problem, pero dapat si manager alam niya din paano isolve. So, hindi ka lang naghahanap ng problema. So, dapat kung may problema, alam mo din, may, may skill ka or may experience ka na isolve ang problem na to. You will not only see the problem, you will also solve it. They must have the skill of a good design engineer 
in working out a practical solution to a problem. Okay, so if ever hindi makaya ni manager, he will tap or magpunta na sa consultant. So yun nga, yung mga consultant natin, sila yung with years of pra uh, practice experience. So if a problem arises na hindi pa na-experience ni manager, we will tap to that good design engineer. Then if manager managers merely see the problem and became problem watchers, they will fail. Yun nga. Di ba sinabi ko? Char. So hindi pwede naghahanap ng problema si manager. Dapat alam niya din paano isolve. Okay? Then managers must also have the valuable skills of being able to design a workable solution to a problem in the light of the relaxed realities they face okay and i hope you understand the skills of a manager a big role ni manager okay next yung mga requirement for a ma uh, for the engineering manager's job so a bachelor degree in engineering from a reputable school okay and in some cases a master's degree in engineering or business management is required a few years of experience in pure engineering job. Okay, hindi pwede na gra bagong graduate kaya engineer na agad. Ah, engineer, tama na, engineer. Kung baga, manager ka na agad. Walang ganun. So, gain, 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 gain experience. And then tataas, ang tataas, ang tataas yung rank mo sa engineering profess, uh, engineering field. And then, most of us, uh, even me, uh, nag uh, license engineer minsan na, na itong last three parts na ito ay nakakaligtaan ko okay training yung mga training special training in engineering uh, aspect kahit na hindi management is nakakaligtaan kasi busy na nga ba pero yung self development wag talagang kalimutan ang mas madaling sabihin mahirap talagang gawin time management Okay, okay. so that is the requirement for the engineering manager's job. Okay, next. So how one may become a successful engineer manager? Okay, it's a fitner. So it's a itong... ah. <laughs> a fitner indicates at least three general conditions for achieving lasting success as a manager. So, si manager, he has, or manager has a ability, uh, motiva motivation to manage, and opportunity. Okay. So, sa ability, uh, managerial ability refers to the capacity of an engineer, engineer manager to achieve organizational objectives effectively and efficiently. So, effectiveness, according to Higgins refers to a description of whether objectives are accomplished. So in every kumbaga, sa me, uh, laboratory natin, before tayo or dun sa lang, before tayo uh, magkakaroon ng problem is i-identify muna natin before tayo magka, kung meron tayong problem, identify natin yung objectives. So okay na? Magiging effective ka kung yung mga objectives na yun is uh, na solve or na accomplish. While efficiency is a description of the relative amount of resources used in obtaining effectiveness. Okay. Next is motivation to manage. Excuse me. Go. Many people have the desire to work and finish, uh, finish a specific task assigned by supervisor or uh, superiors, but not many are motivated to manage other people so that uh, they may contribute to the realization realization of the organization's objective. Okay, so willing tayo magtrabaho, pero mas willing tayo na solve lang yung problema natin. ba? Kasi, syempre po, minsan yung problema natin overwhelming, hindi na, hindi na natin kaya I, kumbaga may, may di lang problema kumbaga meron tayong due date so kung isipin mo pa lang yung due date mo uh, kung 
nahihirapan na. Pero si manager, yung problema niya, hindi lang yung problema, uh, personal problem niya sa profession niya. Kasi kailangan niyang i-check yung problem ng bawat functions or yung de- ni-delegate niya ng mga functions sa organization. Dapat ma-meet yung mga uh, deadline. So kung ikaw, under kay manager, yung binigay ng trabaho sa iyo is delayed, problema yun ni manager. So kaya, push, push. Si manager, tatap ka niya, uh, ipupush ka niya na dapat ma- ma-achieve yung yung task within the uh, range of ng ating due, due date. So, bottom line, uh, pag-manage talaga sa peoples yung trabaho ni manager. Okay, last. This will be our last slide, class. So, last is yung opportunity. So, successful managers become possible uh, become pas- uh, possible only if those having the ability and motivations are given the opportunity to manage. Uh, na, na, kanina pa tong mains na to ba? Sorry. The opportunity for successful management has two requirements, namely obtaining a suitable managerial job and finding a supportive climate once on the job. Okay. So, a supportive climate climate doon sa ating uh, work in, working environment. So, kumbaga, hindi toxic. Happy, happy and productive yung tao within the organization. Okay, so that's it uh, for our lecture number one. Uh, we have here uh, assignment. Assignment ito siya to be submitted. So prepare a list of 10 engineers who became president or general manager of a large company. Pwede dito yung owner, owner ng construction company. Okay, at least uh, 10 list of 10 or at least 5. 5 to 10. Siyempre, nagbigay na ko minimum. Sigurado, 5 po ang inyong yatag. So, 5 to 10 engineers. Next, give a background of that person. And then, how how he became successful in his field. Okay. So, I hope uh, naka I hope Naka follow and you understand our our lesson for today. Yung submission ng ating uh, assignment or research will will be posted sa ating GC. Okay, thank you for listening. See you next time.